अच्छा इस वाले में आप लोग एक क्वेश्चन जो है ना आंसर दो क्वेश्चन इन द ग्रुप ठीक है I said, tell me this one. First part, we're going to start with benzene. Uh, most organic questions are kind of interlinked, so... I mean, it's it's going to be the questions would probably be all over the place, but these ones are focusing on on benzene. Acha, ab is me again the first one. He's saying that uh, for this reaction, for this one, uh, identify the reagent and conditions needed for this. Okay, so what reaction is this? Okay, we'll we'll just have a look at the spider chart. So how does benzene turn into a cycloalkene? It's this one. Okay, when you have a benzene, you hydrogenate it. It turns into a cycloalkane. It becomes saturated. That's uh, what the reaction is. So it's a nickel plus hydrogen, and uh, so type of reaction. It's an addition reaction, or you can say that it's a it's a reduction reaction. Because hydrogen is getting added. Uh, re reagents are nickel plus uh, catalyst. That's two hundred degrees centigrade is the temperature. So that's the condition. The reagent is basically hydrogen. We didn't write that. That those are your conditions. The reagent is hydrogen. Next part is what's the bond angle in benzene and bond angle in cyclohexane, and you have to explain your answer. So. What's the bond angle in benzene? Okay, if I if I just have a look at the structure of uh, of benzene, the so benzene is sp two hybridized. Uh, all the angles in benzene are hundred and twenty degrees. Okay, that's uh, that's what benzene is. Here, the structure. Okay, just one second. Okay, every carbon atom is sp two hybridized. So the bond angles are one twenty degrees. And in cyclohexene, each carbon atom is bonded to four bonds. When it's bonded to four bonds, it's going to be tetrahedral, and the angle is going to be one hundred nine point five degrees. So, what you're going to explain is explanation for your answer is that you're going to state that it's sp two. Uh, you got three bond pairs. And which is why the shape is going to be trigonal planar around the carbon atom. And in cyclohexane, it's sp three hybridized. Uh, you got four bond pairs, which is why the shape is going to be tetrahedral, and the angle would be one hundred nine point five. Okay, so remember the structure of benzene. Uh, they'll ask you to draw the structure of benzene in a lot more. In a lot more detail, the okay, structure of benzene. Remember this: that uh, each carbon is making three bonds, three normal bonds. Sp two hybridized orbitals. There's one p orbital that is unchanged. So at the end of the day, when you have a structure of benzene, it's uh, it's flat, it's planar, it's completely planar. The carbon carbon bonds are sp two, sp two. The black ones over here are sp two hybridized orbitals overlapping with each other. This black bond over here with H, that's an sp two overlapping with hydrogen's s orbital. The pi bonding is happening when the p orbitals overlap. Uh, so the above and below electron density, that's when the pp overlap. That's the other part. You clear this one? Yeah, 
now the next one is uh, this fermatic acid that's given and uh, on, he says that only three stereoisomers of P exist. So P has, uh, I guess, stereoisomers. And he says only three exist. One of the stereoisomers is shown. Complete. Now you have to complete the three dimensional diagram in the boxes to show the other two stereoisomers. So, so how do how do we how do you form stereoisomers? In this case, uh, what we're going to do is case kumbara kar lenge second. I said, remember this carbon atom. I said this carbon atom is chiral. Chiral ka matlab hai ki it's a uh, it can have non-superimposable mirror images. So what you can do is uh, all four groups are different over here. Is carbon atom pe? G. I say is carbon atom pe all four groups are are different around this carbon atom. Since they are different, so it's going to have mirrored versions. Now there are many ways of drawing a mirrored version. TK, one way to draw this is uh, I have to draw a mirrored version. I'm going to mirror this side first. So the top remains exactly the same. So the OH is exactly where it is. The H is exactly where it is. This side is going to get mirrored. Now one way to mirror this is you've, you've got many ways of mirroring a carbon atom. Let me show you the three different ways to to actually mirror a carbon atom. Uh, let's say there is uh, uh, W, X, Y, and Z. Now, one way to mirror a carbon atom is you keep the mirror on this side. And that's the conventional way of mirroring a carbon atom. The Z goes over here. The Y goes over here. And your X goes to the other side. Okay, that's that, that's your conventional way. The other way to mirror a carbon atom is uh, you place the mirror. Okay, that's your conventional way. The other way is you place the mirror at the bottom. If you place it, so it's going to be up, upside down now. So the W would be a downwards. Y would be in this direction. Y would be pointing upwards. Uh, Z would be over here. And your X would be over here. Okay, that's that's another way to mirror a chiral carbon atom. Okay, that's the non-conventional way. And then there's a third way of mirroring because it's it depends on where you put the mirror. Okay, so there's a third way of of mirroring a carbon atom, and that third way is imagine the inversion is happening in the plane. I mean, this entire plane on which I'm writing the board. There is one board that's one bond that's coming out of the page, and there's one bond that's going into the page. So up if if you look at the board or the screen, and if you imagine that that is the mirror, and the molecule it's left right switches right, so you're watching it from the side. So what will happen is that the bond that's going into the page, if it's get, get, if it gets mirrored along this plane then instead of going behind the page, it's going to be coming towards you. And the bond that's coming towards you, instead of coming towards you, it's going to be going behind the page. So there's another way of mirroring a carbon atom, and that's this one, that you keep everything exactly the same. Imagine that you're mirroring this carbon atom on this board. So Z is going into the board, but now Z will be coming out of the board. Y will be going out of the board, but after it gets mirrored along this uh, plane, it will be going behind the board. Okay, so that's that's another way of that's another way of mirroring a carbon atom. Okay, that's the non-conventional way of doing that. So what you have to do is uh, because remember if you look carefully, the problem was over here that they didn't actually mirror the bonds. I mean, it's not left to right inversion. What is happening therefore is you keep the carboxylic acid where it is. If you want to mirror it, mirror it along the plane on which it's lying. The H is going into the board. Over here, the H will be coming 
out of the board. Okay, the H is now coming out of the board. TOH is going out of the board. It's coming towards you. But over here, it's going to be coming or going into the board. So, so in this molecule, what I've done is I've, uh, I've mirrored one side. TK, is this part clear? You clear how to mirror a chiral center on the plane that it's lying on? No, sir. Please explain. It was clear that I said that it's one to left to right. It's clear that it's a normal mirror. I said that I told you that you put the mirror downwards, so it's going to be upside down. It's going to be an upside mirrored version. Is that clear? But it's clear. Okay, this is what we're doing organic. Okay, the third way to mirror is Imagine you your board near, think of the board as the up. If you, if you look into your, yourself in the mirror, TK, your mirror version is a reflected version of you, TK. There's a line of symmetry, just go, but everything gets reflected, right? So, what I'm saying is that the third way to mirror a molecule is around a chiral carbon atom. This is the chiral carbon. You just plain near this, just plain cube, the screen on your, the screen on your computer or laptop, right? Think of it that that is the line on which you're mirroring something. Okay, when you reflect a particular plane, you reflect a plane. Uh, right to left or top to bottom, TK, you could place, you can either reflect it on along this axis, you can either reflect it along this axis, right? But the third way of doing this is imagine you're reflecting it on this board on which everything is kept. TK, imagine that you're reflecting it on this which is left to right your inversion okay now that's that's happening on this particular board so imagine the z is going behind the board right so if it gets mirrored along this board so the z will be coming towards you is that part clear how fast is my sister answering Okay, is this part clear? Rania, clear? And the Y that's coming towards you, that will be going into the board. The, word, the only thing you're going to change is you're going to change the position of Y and Z, and that is a mirrored version as well. Okay. So just looking at it from the top, you're kind of mirroring it along the board. I said, what's the other? What's going to be the other one? I say in this case, what's happening is that in this particular case, what's happening is that both sides are exactly the same. So if I reflect or mirror the other one, that's that's going to be exactly the same. Okay, so it won't make any difference. So the other, the third version or the third isomer is going to be that you mirror both of them. So one side has already been mirrored. Okay, that's your carboxylic acid, which is over here, H is over here. And now I'm going to mirror the other side as well. Okay, that's also chiral. So H is going into the board, so I'm going to make it go out of the board. The OH is going out of the board, I'm going to make it go into the board. So Istrana, both sides are now, are now actually mirrored versions, okay? Is this clear? I said, but remember this point. I mean, you, you might get confused with this, but remember this point that there are many ways of mirroring a chiral carbon atom. And one way is uh, just think of it as the whole molecule lying on a, on a board. Uh, Z going into the board, in the mirrored version, the Z is coming towards you. Y is going out of the board. In the mirrored version, the Y is going away from you, TK. I said, next one. Is it clear about it? Is it clear? Yes, sir. I said, now next one. Uh, structure of P, uh, P is an optically active, so use an asteroid to 
uh, to identify all chiral carbon atoms on the structure of P. So all all chiral, I think there's only one chiral carbon atom. That's it. Okay, there's going to be an H. Uh, uh, the benzene is alternating double bond, so that, that's not chiral. TK that can never be chiral. Uh, this is CH two, so I guess that's it. This is CH three, so we've got just uh, an H marker. Then this one will have three H's, so we just got one chiral. Plain polarized light is passed through a pure sample of one enantiomer of P. This is then repeated with a pure sample of the other enantiomer. Enantiomer, remember, are your optical isomers, your mirrored versions. Describe the results of these two experiments, stating the similarities and differences of the results. So, okay, they both uh, rotate. Both enantiomers rotate plane polarized monochromatic light. When light passes through both enantiomers, both mirrored versions. So what happens is that it gets rotated in opposite directions. The only similarity is that uh, they are rotated with equal angles. So at an equal angle. So if one rotates it 40 degrees to the right, the other one would rotate it 40 degrees to the to the left. As I've got, reduce the number of chiral carbon atoms in one molecule of cortisone. So most of these ones are where you have uh, your joints, these are mostly going to be chiral. Um, this is CH2, CH2, double bond. Uh, these are not chiral. Uh, this is not chiral. Uh, this is CH2. So the rest are not chiral. So I guess that's about it. Cortisone is reacted with an excess of NaBH4. Uh, state the molecular formula of the. What does NaBH4 do? What does it react with? Kis is react with NaBH4? Esters. Double bond O. Esters ni. We'll call it double bond O. T aliens and ketones. Right. Uh, let me just open the notes just one second. Okay. Yes, notes. Sorry. TK, remember NABH4 and LIALH4. TK, they're both reducing agents. Uh, only LIALH4 is able to reduce a carboxylic acid back to an aldehyde and further to an alcohol. But NABH4 can only work with either uh, ketones or aldehydes. TK, that's it. So it's a reducing agent, but that only works with not with carboxylic acids. TK, it's not going to work with carboxylic acids. So state the molecular formula of the organic compound formed. Sorry, he's asking for the molecular formula. So the, I said now one way is you could actually waste a lot of time counting all the atoms, right? The only changes that are happening are happening to the aliates and ketones, right? So, so the molecular formula is already with you. T you get C21, it's already given, H is 28 and O is five. So what happens when uh, when a when a ketone actually turns into an alcohol? What happens? Uh, basically, the double bond goes away. It turns into an alcohol, and an extra H gets added. So basically, it's the addition of two H atoms. That's it. Okay, that's it. So whenever an aldehyde or a ketone turns into a, an alcohol, so all these aldehydes and ketones they're going to turn into alcohols. Okay, this is a ketone, so that will also turn into an alcohol. This is a ketone that will also turn into an into an alcohol or basphere. That's it. So so basically three OH groups. So that means six H's are getting added. So you've got C21. And H is what uh, 34. And O is 5. The cortisone is an optically active molecule. Explain what is meant by optically active. So you have to explain what is optically active. So the literal definition is the plane polar optical means it has to do with light. Okay, so both enantiomers rotate plane polarized monochromatic light in opposite directions at an equal angle. Uh, so that is what is meant by yes. Sir, six H K C add or that? We are okay. You know, clear okay. When you have NaBH four, what happens? Okay, a ketone or an aldehyde turns into an alkaloid. 
तो क्या हो रहा है कि वेन यू हैव अटोन इंटू एन एल्कोहल राइट तो वेन इट टर्न इंटू एन एल्कोहल तो क्या होता है डबल बॉन्ड गोज अवे इट बिकम्स एन एल्कोहल एंड यू नीड वन एच तो बेसिकली हाउ मनी एच गॉट एडेड टू एच राइट ये क्लियर टू एच गेट एडेड वेन एन एल और कीट तो यहाँ पे यहाँ पे थ्री कीटोन्स थे ना so that's why it's uh ni nee, nab that's not in you know, fatah wo course mein nahi hai nabs for wala i mean nabs for ke sath the only thing you have to remember is not not the forget the double bond wo break kyun karega but double bond to concentrate came of four ke sath it would break with concentrate came of four Like AS can another, it would break with um, strong oxidation. ठीक है. That is the only part where it breaks. ठीक है. Otherwise, it won't break. As a next one, um, as a, a methyl group turns into a carboxylic acid. So a methyl benzene and arene turns into a carboxylic acid. Care reagent. It's getting oxidized. ठीक है. Oxidized हो रहा है ना सर ये acid होगा. Oxidized हो रहा है ना क्या oxidizing agent होगा ना? ये होगा ना. Kmino four. हम्म. Kmino four. ठीक है. So ये वाला part हो रहा है. It's a if you have an arene, it turns into carboxylic acid. ठीक है. So Kmino four. और सर acid भी साथ में होगा ना? हाँ acid fire और reflux. सर सर ये ऑक्सीडाइज इस तरह होता है कि टूट जाता है फिर ये दूसरा ग्रुप आके लग जाता है पर हाँ, बेसिक आपने वो मैकेजम कोई नहीं बस पता होना चाहिए तो कार्बन चेन जस्ट टर्न्स इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड वो जितनी आपने सर बताया था कि अगर लंबी चेन हो जितनी भी लंबी चेन हो लेकिन COOH लगेगा वहां पर आके हां ठीक है वो बाकी चीजें ना दे मेक अदर स्टफ ठीक है तो बस आपको ये पता होना चाहिए यू डोंट नीड टू नो डिटेल्स अबाउट इट ठीक है सर साइड चेन के भी रिएक्शंस अपने होते हैं ना मतलब पीसीएल से और उस तरह के एसिल क्लोराइड हां वो तो वो तो कुछ भी हो सकता है जैसा होगा भी ये जैसा ये नहीं है साइड चेन के साथ कुछ हो रहा है ठीक है वो भी देख लेते हैं ना स्टेप 3 कौन सा एसोसिएल टू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड टर्निंग इनटू एसिल क्लोराइड ठीक है सो दैट यस सर स्टेप 1 एंड 2 में तो आपके पास NO2 भी आ रहा है तो आप HNO3 भी ऐड करेंगे अच्छा हां NO2 भी है हाँ अब नहीं सॉरी ये तो स्टेप वन एंड टू है तो इट्स टू स्टेप्स इट्स नॉट वन स्टेप खैर केमरो फोर इज द वन अच्छा नाउ यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम ठीक है नाउ केमरो फोर इज वन हाउ डू यू नाइट्रेट अ बेंजीन क्या होता है नाइट्रेशन ऑफ बेंजीन हाउ डू डू दैट कि नाइट्रेशन ऑफ बेंजीन हैपन्स क्योंकि नाइट्रेशन एल्कोलेशन ये नाइट्रेशन कॉन्सेंट्रेट नाइट्रिक एसिड कॉन्सेंट्रेट सल्फ्रिक एसिड टेम्परेचर बी फिफ्टी फाइव सो द बेंजीन विल टर्न इन टू इट्स गोइंग टू टर्न इन टू एनो टू ठीक है So, I said that's what's going to happen. I mean, you know, which step is going to be step one and which one is going to be step two? Sir, nitration is step one. Hmm. Nitration will be first. Yes, sir. Uh, methyl group. Which group is it? Which group is it? Two, four, six, or three, five? Sir, methyl two, four, five. That's not two, four, six. Me, it comes. और जो सर कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड है सर वो तो विथड्रॉइंग ग्रुप है ठीक है वो 3 5 है सो मीथाइल ग्रुप ठीक है इट्स वो भी यही है एक सेकंड मेरा माउस खराब हो गया अच्छा एक सेकंड का अच्छा मीथाइल ग्रुप मीथाइल ग्रुप रिमेंबर इज 246 तो सिंस इट्स 246 इट्स तो इट्स गोइंग टू पुट NO2 इन द राइट पोजीशन तो नाइट्रेशन विल हैपन फर्स्ट क्योंकि एंड देन यू गोइंग टू टर्न इट इनटू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड यानी दिस इज द रूट के पहले यू गोइंग टू टर्न इट इनटू NO2 एंड देन यू गोइंग टू ऑक्सीडाइज दैट ठीक है द मीथाइल ग्रुप विल टर्न इनटू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड रीजन बीइंग कि ये जो है ना दिस इज 3-5 दिस इज अ 3-5 डायरेक्टिंग ग्रुप इफ यू हैड डन दैट अर्लियर Then the NO2 will not get attached to position number four. Okay, that would not happen. It would get attached to position number three. 
So nitration would happen first and then you'll oxidize it. Asa, what is what is step four? You got the step. Sir, condensation lag raha, sir. Uh, esterification and okay, acyl chlorides, remember they form they form esters. Okay? Acyl chlorides, they uh can't be up on acyl chlorides. Okay? Remember acyl chlorides, they form very good uh, esters evil apart. Okay, when you have an acyl chloride, uh, alcohol gets other reacts and it ends up forming an ester. Uh, and acyl chlorides are very reactive. Okay? Because carbon has a very strong positive charge, so they're very reactive. So here, what is getting attached is this entire chain. Uh, it's basically, I mean, this side is serial bond O, would have been CL, and this side would have been an alcohol. Each person of CL and H would go away and they would join up. Okay, so uh, before joining, this would have been an alcohol. I said, what is step, what is happening in step five? How does NO2 turn into NH2? So reduction, tin and uh, HCl. Okay. Um, so what is Reduction happens, reduction cup, it's uh it's 10. NO2 turning into NH2, that's 10 plus concentrated HCl plus heat. TK, so that's the that's the reaction. So mainly the cheese and answer can they think what else is he talking about? Uh, name all the functional groups present in procaine. Kind of procaine, where's procaine? Uh, sir, name all the functional groups. What are the functional groups? Haji. Sir, when carboxylic acid is mixed with benzene, sir, benzene is a side chain. Ha, naming a point of view, sir. Yes, yes. Carboxylic acid is the highest person's group. Yes, yes. So, it's not just the same thing, it's benzoic acid. It's the main chain, actually. Hai. It's uh, benzene with carboxylic acid, it's benzoic acid. Hai. This is going to, you, you'll call it uh, four, four, and one, two, three, four, four, nitrobenzoic acid. Okay. As I can get functional groups, so what is this? This is phenylamine. You get cheese. That's a concert. Uh, Errol group, sir. So benzene. Uh, you can say. That's an ester. Okay, so this one is an ester. Uh, what is this one? Sir, amine. Amine, alkyl amine. Okay. Or tertiary amine. Tertiary amine. Uh -huh. amine. This one is a tertiary amine. Achha, phir, next is ke a molecular procaine has 13 carbon atoms. So we'll figure out ke how many. Achha, benzene wale, si hybridization. What hybridization is this? We do. Okay, so all of them are sp2, so that's uh, six sp2. EB sp2, that's a double bond, that's sp2. So all the other carbons are all single bonds, right? So sp3, so sp3, sp3, kitna sp3 on the side, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So counting is very difficult, sir. You can see that these are two and double V, two chains, so that's four. Four plus two is six. So six sp3, uh, seven sp2, sp2 is not even zero. Clear here? But as an agla part, uh, by reference to the hybridization of carbon atoms and the nitrogen atom, and the orbital overlap suggests how the segment pi bonds are formed. In pyridine molecule, okay, by reference to hybridization. So remember, uh, all of them are sp2 hybridized. Okay, all of them are sp2 hybridized. So what's, what's going to happen is that uh, the carbons and the N, there's one N as well. Uh, all of them will be making uh, one pi bond. Okay, all of them will be making one pi bond. So there's going to be H, 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 something plus H. I said N will not be forming a bond because N kind of one of the orbitals already full. So N has a lone pair. Uh, where an H can get attached, okay, N can accept an H plus one, but uh, uh, 
एट द मोमेंट दिस नथिंग वेयर ठीक है सो एन इज हैज अ लोन पेयर मतलब याद है कार्बन मेक्स फोर बॉन्ड्स बट एन मेक्स थ्री बॉन्ड्स वन ऑफ द बॉन्ड इज इंस्टेड ऑफ मेकिंग अ बॉन्ड इट्स ऑलरेडी फुल सो दैट्स व्हाई इट डजंट मेक अ बॉन्ड और इफ इट मेक्स अ बॉन्ड इट मेक्स अ डेटिव बॉन्ड मतलब अगर हम CH4 करते थे ना तो दे बोथ हैड द सेम हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एक्सेप्ट फॉर द फैक्ट कि जो एन की फोर्थ साइड थी ना दैट वाज ऑलरेडी फुल व्हिच कुड एंड अप फॉर्मिंग अ डेटिव बॉन्ड बट नॉर्मली इट वाज जस्ट जस्ट एन यहां पर देयर इज नो देयर इज नो एच ओवर हियर एज अ सिंस दे आर फॉर्मिंग अ रिंग सो दैट मींस ईच वन ऑफ देम हैज अ हैज अ स्पेयर पी ऑर्बिटल एंड दोस स्पेयर पी ऑर्बिटल्स वुड ओवरलैप तो बस ये सारा एक्सप्लेन करना यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन ऑल ऑफ दिस कितने मार्क्स इज दिस 3 मार्क्स सो ऑल ऑफ देम आर sp2 हाइब्रिडाइज्ड फिगर आउट द ऑर्बिटल ओवरलैप सो सो यू गो टू स्टेट दैट द कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड्स एंड द कार्बन एंड एन बॉन्ड्स दे आर ऑल sp2 sp2 ओवरलैप ये जो थ्री बॉन्ड्स हैं द थ्री बॉन्ड्स दैट कार्बन इज मेकिंग दे आर ऑल sp2 ऑर्बिटल्स the one that it's making with h that's in a carbon's sp2 orbital overlapping with hydrogen's s so suggest how sigma and pi bonds so how are pi bonds formed pi bonds are formed when their p orbitals overlap so it's a p and p orbital it's a p and p orbital overlap as a then uh what can we want to the by reference to the hybridization uh and the orbital overlap suggests how the that's it tv just told them how sigma and pi bonds are getting formed ye part clear hai sir ha ji sir jo last wala tha wo wala dikha ni last question pehle wala ये वाला जी जी सर इसमें sp sp2 6 सिक्स नहीं है सेवन है एक ये भी तो sp2 है ये जो कार्बन ऊपर डबल बॉन्ड है अच्छा ठीक है तो सेवन हो जाता है so next one identify the functional groups f and j so what are, what is f uh, uh, f and j uh f can it's a carboxylic acid and a phenylamine here you have a phenyl acid remember alcohols you, um, this is remember this is not amine this is always call it a phenylamine theek okay? hai it behaves differently than an amine and never call this an alcohol or a hyd- it's a phenol theek okay? hai specifically it's a phenol and this is an ester Of a carboxylic acid, state the number of chiral centers in a molecule of F and in a molecule chiral center. So I don't think any chiral center. Uh, this is alternating double bonds, so no chiral centers. ठीक है. This is यहाँ पे कितने chiral हैं? I guess that's chiral. Uh, this is chiral. Both of these are chiral, right? Uh, benzene के अंदर there's not going to be any chiral. So this one has two chiral centers. This one has zero chiral centers pet j reacts under suitable conditions with nh after acidification of the reaction mixture compounds k and l are formed give the molecular formula of l so this is an ester breaking down theek hai so if an ester breaks down so this side will turn into uh, an alcohol theek hai that's what's going to happen so this side over here the right side will turn into an alcohol or its molecular formula so it's how many carbons that's uh 1 2 3 6 7 8 9 carbon atoms uh each is count kar lo so that's uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 uh, और कौन सा 
as a 16 inches and there's uh, probably one over here as well. So that's 17. And I think it's 18 inches and there's one over. So yeah. So I'm trying to move the electrophilic substitution. Ke upar. Uh, page 10. Pe. I said electrophilic substitution questions on mostly revolving around electrophilic substitutions. Step one, what is this reaction? How does this get attached to it? Alkylation. No, alkylation, it's acylation. Uh, acylation, okay. This must be a double bond O and Cl, right? Uh, with uh, one CST over here. The carbon is strongly positive and that strongly positive carbon is going to get attached to benzene. But you need a catalyst for this, which is going to be ALCLC catalyst. So, so he's asking for the reagents and conditions for step one, for step two as well. Now, how do you how do you go from this all the way to this? So I think the only route is this is a ketone and this is an alkene. How do you go from a ketone to an alkene? Do you reduce it? Alcohol. Then... Ha, reduce it, turn it into alcohol, right? And then so dehydration of the alcohol? Okay, so this is CST. So you reduce it with the uh, uh, NABH4, right? And then dehydrate it. How do you dehydrate an alcohol? H2SO4. So heat with an acid. Okay, yeah, Al2O3 plus heat, sulfuric acid also. Concentrate sulfuric acid plus heat or Al2O3 plus heat. Uh, so I guess that's it. Uh, I said, next one. He's asking you to write or draw the mechanism of electrophilic substitution. Now, every electrophilic substitution reaction mechanism is kind of uh, going to be exactly the same. Okay. I say every electrophilic substitution mechanism will be like this. Okay, NO2 one of the cars, so just a second. What happens is that NO2 plus one or any electrophile will come in, steal one of the pi, pi uh, p orbitals. The pi bond will become, uh, pi electron cloud will become partial. And uh, NO2 will get attached to it. And then in the next step, the H is the one that's going to lose electrons. Okay? So the electrophile is going to come in, steal a P orbital, join with it. The benzene electron cloud will become partial. So the H is the one that's going to lose electrons. Okay? So we're just going to draw this mechanism. The is asking is asking it. He's, he's asking this for SO3 H plus one. So the intermediate will be, Okay, the SO3 is going to get attached. And your benzene pi electron cloud will become partial. And there's going to be an H as well. Okay, next step, the H is the one that's going to lose electrons. So, so the H will eventually lose electrons. So write an equation to show how the catalyst is reformed. So, H2SO4 was the catalyst. It ended up forming HSO4 minus one. Or either they look at the HSO4 minus one comes in later on. Uh, for example, over here, the HSO4 minus one comes in and grabs one of the H's and takes it away and turns it into H2SO4 back again. So here, the H plus one that you had, Not this. I said the H plus one that you had would be lost from the benzene and it will be taken or it will get attached to the HSO4 minus one to form H2SO4 back again. TK, is this clear? Sir, can you repeat that, please? 
ये था ना यहाँ का मैकेजम के इलेक्ट्रोफाइल कोई भी आता है ठीक है हमने तो वी स्टडी एनो टू एन वीव स्टडी प्रोमीन राइट लेकिन कुछ भी एनी इलेक्ट्रोफाइल ठीक है कुछ गिव यू एनी इलेक्ट्रोफाइल बट मैकेजम वुड भी एक्जैक्टली दिस एनो टू प्लस वन आता है स्टील वन ऑफ द पीओबल्स बेनजीन इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड बिकम इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियंट तो एच एस वन दैट लूज द इलेक्ट्रॉन बैक टू द बेनजीन तो एच किधर जाता है वो जो एच एस फोर माइनस वन है ना तो इट गोज बैक टू इट and the catalyst is reformed the h2so4 was essential in forming the electrophile in the first place ke jab sulfuric acid react kiya tha na it was acting as a catalyst and it would turn the n no nitric acid into no2+1 to wo baad mein reform ho jata hai theek hai yahan pe usse is not given you no2 is given you something else but but likha aap infer kar sakte ho na ke कार्बन से ठीक है ये वाला अल्कलेशन है और उसमें क्या होता है इट्स अ हैलोजन और अल्केन सो द रिएजेंट इज बेसिकली C12 H25 एंड इट मस्ट हैव अ Cl और वो कोई कार्बन चेन होगी जिसके साथ ना देयर मस्ट बी अ Cl सो बिकॉज़ द Cl द कार्बन वाज पॉजिटिव दैट्स व्हाई इट गॉट अटैच्ड टू द टू द बेंजीन तो दिस थिंग मस्ट हैव हैड अ Cl एंड द मैकेनिज्म इज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन as a benzene reacts with bromine in the presence of an aluminium bromide catalyst to form prom- bromobenzene this is a substitution reaction no addition takes place so the question now is ki when you have a reaction with bromine to why is addition not happening ki when you have a reaction with bromine why does the benzene ring form back again क्या ये यहां पे बना हुआ ठीक है सो ब्रोमीन वुड कम इन एंड इट विल ग्रैब द होल इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड इट विल जस्ट वैनिश ठीक है दे वुड बी एन इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड आफ्टर दैट व्हाई डज इट नॉट हैपन इन बेंजीन कि बेंजीन में व्हाई डज द पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड फॉर्म और रीफॉर्म बैक अगेन उसकी रीजन है कि क्या रीजन है उसकी इसकी चार्ज डेंसिटी इज इट अ हाई चार्ज डेंसिटी पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड और इज इट अ लो चार्ज डेंसिटी पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड हाई नहीं लो है ये फैला हुआ है डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड है इसमें जो एक पी ऑर्बिटल होता है ना इट ओवरलैप्स विद द बेंजीन ऑन द अदर साइड एंड आल्सो ओवरलैप्स विद द कार्बन ऑन दिस साइड ठीक है सो देयर इज मोर ओवरलैपिंग हैपनिंग व्हिच इज व्हाई द इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड इज मोर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सो इज दिस क्लियर दैट इट्स अ लो चार्ज डेंसिटी पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड इज दिस पार्ट क्लियर यस सर So since it's a low charge density pi electron cloud, which makes it very stable. I guess, what you think? If the electron density over here was very high, the H would never give electrons back to benzene. But the electrons' key movement, key H key, it's the benzene electron cloud is forming back again. Because if the electron density was very high, these electrons would get repelled. They will not come back to it. Do you understand the point? So the reason, yes. the reason the pi bond over here or the pi electron cloud is reforming is the electron density is very distributed and it's very low. It gets a very low charge density. So when it gets a positive charge, it's able to grab electrons or pull electrons away from hydrogen and it's able to reform itself. So here, the explanation will be that that's just a it's just a one mark question, by the way. So 
you're just going to say that uh, benzene pi electron cloud. has a low charge density, low electron charge density. Which makes it very stable. Hence, it's easily reformed. As an ALBLC reacts in bromine to generate a Br plus one uh, Electrophile, now you have a Br plus one electrophile. You can draw the mechanism so it's, everything would be exactly the same. Okay. Every time it's the same electrophilic benzene, Br plus one comes in. Uh, it's going to grab electrons from the benzene. The Br is going to join in. There's an H already there. The electron cloud density would become partial. The next step, what will happen is that uh, the AlBr4 minus one is going to uh, gain the H back again. The H will lose its electrons back to back to benzene, and the benzene pi electron cloud would get reformed. OH the jag, it's going to grab the PR from ALBR4 minus one, it's going to form HPR. And your catalyst will be will be reformed. This one. Okay. FEBRC took away the bromine, but then the BR electrons came back and grabbed the H. The H lost its electrons back to benzene and the benzene electron cloud got reformed. TK, clear? Sir? Sir, that low charge density, means we can write something like distortion in the ring. No, just write one mark. It's not that much. I don't know how much rocket science is. I don't know how much rocket science is. I don't know how much only you have to answer is that uh, uh, the electron cloud has a very low charge density because it's very distributed, so which is why it's able to attract electrons from HTK. So you just write that it's very stable and it's which is why it gets easily reformed. TK. TK. As a ugly part here, okay, write an equation. Uh, so you had ALBR4 minus one. How was the catalyst reformed? that uh, when the H broke away from benzene, it went to it and grabbed one of the BRs, HBR was formed, and you got ALBR3 back again. Suggest so why bromination of phenols occurs more readily. So why is phenol so reactive when it comes to bromination? Sir, activation or earthiness, sir? Okay, you explain that uh, 2 4 6 directing groups. Just a second. So, electrophilic substitution of 2 4 6 directing groups. 2 4 6 directing groups are your activating groups, the one that uh, donate electrons. What happens in this case is just the alkyl chains. You've got alkyl chains. Alkyl chains are not that electron donating, by the way. You've got alkyl chains. Uh, uh, so electron density increases at positions 2, 4, and 6, which is why electrophiles are going to be more strongly attracted to those positions. Now, phenols, phenols there, what happens is phenols and phenylamine. In this case, what happens is that phenols and phenylamine, the activation is a lot stronger. TK, the OH has lone pairs to Yampe given, and the NS2 have the N has a lone pair, okay? so they overlap and the electron density becomes really, really high at positions two, four, and six. So, which is why the electrophile is very strongly attracted to it, which is why you don't have, you don't need a catalyst. Okay, the phenols key or phenylamine, if they get halogenated, you don't need a catalyst. You, there's no need for a catalyst. The reaction is vigorous and bromine not only gets attached to one position, it actually gets attached to all three positions. Same with chlorine. 
टू फोर सिक्स और डाइट्रेशन में भी यही होता है यू डोट नीड कॉन्सेंट्रेट सल्फ्रिक एसिड यू डोट नीड एनी कैटलिस्ट the NO2 will get attached if it's dilute maybe one will get attached if it's concentrated nitric acid maybe it's going to get attached to all three positions theek okay? hai so in both cases you now no longer need a catalyst it's the same mechanism but no catalyst is required to uska fir pura baith ke likho ke the lone pair uh, overlaps so lone pair on oxygen in hydroxy group what happens it overlaps with benzene's electron cloud increasing its charge density uh which at positions 2 4 6 to be specific 6 ko bracket mein likhte hain theek hai positions so n mein a stronger attraction for electrophiles so you got you get much stronger attraction for electrophiles As so the next one, there are four different carbon cations with the same formula C four uh, H nine plus one. So, what kind of charge? One of one of them is given. So, the first one is the first carbon is the carbon cation, right? The second one could be that the second carbon is a carbon cation. Then you could have a branched carbon cation. or you could have the middle one as the carbon cation theek hai you can add the hs theek hai there will be 3 hs 1 h 2 hs 3 hs 1 h theek hai and 2 hs with this to your santha next one Construct an equation for the formation of NO two plus one by this method. Okay, so how does the NO two plus one get formed? The electrophile get formed when you're trying to do trying to nitrate it. So what does it mean? That you have the uh, whole equation. You have to remember it. Nitric acid plus sulfuric acid. They react together. They end up forming NO two plus one. And two HSO four minus one, and they also form HCO plus one. Our mechanism exactly same. So where would the NO two plus one get attached in in this case? But will it get attached to? So three and five. नहीं लेकिन किसके पर्सपेक्टिव से थ्री एंड फाइव सर दोनों के सर नहीं एन एस टू कौन सा ग्रुप होता है टू फोर सिक्स और थ्री फाइव सर दोनों थ्री फाइव है नहीं एन एस टू एन एस टू इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन एन एस टू टू फोर सिक्स है सर वो एनओ टू अच्छा सही है हाँ सही है एन एस टू जो तो इलेक्ट्रॉन रेटिंग ग्रुप होता है इलेक्ट्रॉन एनसी ओवर हेयर बिकम्स हायर ठीक है कबोसिक आसर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन विड्रॉइंग ग्रुप सो इलेक्ट्रॉन एनसी ऑन इट्स साइड डिक्रीजेस तो एनओ टू जो होगा ना इट्स गेट अटैच टू दिस पोजीशन ठीक है तो इंटरमीडिएट उसके हिसाब से ना आप ड्रॉ कर लो कि व्हाट विल इट बी के ये नीचे एनएस टू है टॉप दिस कबोस्टिक एसिड एंड द एनओ टू विल गेट अटैच्ड दिस ऑलरेडी गोइंग टू बी एन एच एंड दिस ठीक है इलेक्ट्रॉन इन स्टीम इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनेटिंग ग्रुप के पर्सपेक्टिव से देखेंगे दोनों के पर्सपेक्टिव दोनों के पर्सपेक्टिव से देख लो ना कि इधर तो नहीं अटैच होगा ना कबोक्सिक एसिड कौन सा ग्रुप है थ्री फाइव राइट जी तो कबोक्सिक एसिड के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से थ्री फाइव इज दिस इज वन दिस इज टू दिस इज थ्री 
तो उसके पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से भी इट्स द सेम इट्स द सेम इज दैट क्लियर जी और एनओ2 के एनएस2 के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से भी 246 इज दिस थिंग टू दिस इज 2 एंड 4 5 सॉरी 1 2 3 4 5 6 तो दोनों के पर्सपेक्टिव से इट्स द सेम इट्स द सेम पोजीशन ठीक है अच्छा स्टेट द नेम ऑफ द मेकेनिज्म दैट्स इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन ठीक है नेक्स्ट वन स्टेट द रोल ऑफ एफईसीएल3 दैट्स अ दैट्स अ कैटलिस्ट ये बेंजीन के अंदर ना यू आर अटैचिंग अ सीएल ठीक है सो दैट्स दैट इज अ कैटलिस्ट दैट्स इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन तो आगे चलते हैं state what is seen when aqueous bromine is added to phenylamine what happens phenylamine but it is and decolorization okay so when you add this is ha ek to highly activated so bromine will get attached to all three positions right and that's your white precipitate try bromophenol phenylamine is a white precipitate the other observation is that the red brown bromine gets decolorized to yahan pe dikha bhi dete hu ki uh remember phenylamine uh their electrophilic substitution yahan pe theek hai they have a vigorous electrophilic substitution reactions because of the highly activated nature of the of the benzene or same exact with phenols the phenols ka it's also highly activated with bromine it forms a white precipitate as well as a draw the structure uh, suggest what is seen wo to ho gaya uh the what is seen when as a what is seen when aqueous bromine is added to ethylamine will you have a reaction no ठीक है कोई रिएक्शन नहीं यू डोंट हैव एनी रिएक्शन ऑफ ऑफ एमाइंस सो दैट्स अ मेजर डिफरेंस के यू कैन यू कैन डिफरेंशिएट अ फिनाइलमाइन फ्रॉम अ नॉर्मल एमाइन तो और वो उसने कह दिस वन के उसने ड्रॉ द प्रोडक्ट सर व्हाट इज सीन क्या लेकिन सर वो जो पूछ रहे व्हाट इज सीन तो हम क्या कहेंगे नो चेंज हां नो चेंज ठीक है alcohols or phenols can there be any difference and like phenols can undergo electrophilic substitution but alcohols cannot oscar name the product this is 246 tribromo phenylamine acha aur kya same cheese uh okay like a chloromethane uh, forms two ions so he says that Draw the reaction of chloromethane with AlCl3. Chloromethane is CH3, Cl. So it forms two ions. One of them is CH3 plus one. So CH3 plus one. So the other one must be where? Where did the Cl go? Who AlCl4 minus one. Or we make them. It's going to attach. Okay, benzene will become uh, partially charged. बस ये हो गया अच्छा सजेस्ट ये स्टेप वन वॉट इज द रीजन कंडीशन फॉर स्टेप वन सर एच पी ब्रोमीन होगा सर कौन सा रिएक्शन है स्टेप वन सर ये एडिशन लग रहा है फ्री रेडिकल फ्री रेडिकल लग रहा है सब्सिट्यूशन हम यू वी लाइक थोड़ा है क्योंकि कार्बन चेन के अंदर ना इफ ब्रोमीन गेट सब्सिट्यूट दैट्स फ्री रेडिकल substitution so it's bromine plus uv light sir ye bromine gas ho gaya na sir aqueous bromine to nahi hoga na ha bromine usually ha bromine waise bhi gas ban jati hai wo waise hi agar liquid bhi ho na to uske fumes badi uh, jaldi ban jate it's very volatile uh next one is ki you of course suggest the structure of compound q q kya what is q q ke reagents kya अब बताओ ना कि व्हाट इज क्यू ओ ना देखे 
Is it a nitrile? Yeah, that's a, that, that is a nitrile. How did you figure out it's a nitrile? Extra it's carbon. converted to carboxylic. Uh, carbon, carbon chain. chain. Increases, right? So, so this must be a nitrile. So Q will be what? It's a... Uh, so instead of Br over here, you'll have a Cn. Okay, so it's carbon, but you now have a Cn. Step two and three, how do you get a Cn? Halogen alkene, what kind of reaction is that? How do you how do you get a Cn? Kcn. Or what kind of Kcn? Ethanolic. Okay, well, ethanolic Kcn. Okay, it was this one. Halogen alkenes. If you want a Cn nucleophile, that's ethanolic uh, NaCn or Kcn. And the CN could be hydrolyzed to form a carboxylic acid, dilute sulfuric acid. So it's going to get hydrolyzed. So uh, first step, this is as a first step, this is KC and ethanolic. Or you will like to dilute uh, uh, H2SO4. And it's going to be reflux. It's not concentrated H2SO4. The dilute. For hydrolysis, it's always dilute. Okay. Can't give all the dilute nitrile to more that's dilute H2SO4. Concentrated H2SO4 okay. pay, okay? It's, it's when you want to remove a water molecule. Okay? It's uh, alcohol may dehydration. Esterification, that's concentrated sulfuric acid. <laughs> So okay, step one may organic by what's the organic byproduct in step one? HBR. HBR is not organic. But our TK, HBR is fine, like it's not organic. As I remember, in free radical substitution. Will there be one BR getting substituted or it could be any number of BRs getting substituted? Any number. So you could get a number of byproducts, right? You could get a number of organic compounds. So it's not just one bromine. You could have two bromines over here, right? Is that clear? So, this chain is not coming from the first step. Yes. What free radical substitution? Mein kya the free radical substitution of alkanes? Ka tha na. Alkanes ka tha or it could apply to any carbon chain. Uh, Sir, that's okay. But this chain is not long. It's not long. No, it's not long. How many carbon atoms are there? I mean, the next carbon atom will be attached to the next carbon atom. So, sir, if we have BR2 or 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 BR2 so, free radical substitution in UV light, what was the radical in the UV light? It was going to go to the H. Right? It was going to go to the H. Okay, it means that you can go to the hydrogen. So, you can go to the number of products. You can go to the three of them. Okay. So, there could be a third BR as well. So, all three could be BR. Okay. So, this is the concept. This is... I think this is alkylation again. Which is the CL wala part hai, that will. Uh, CH2 three times. And COOH. Which is CL wala carbon jo na, that's going to be positive. Hai, so that carbon is going to go and attach to the benzene. You clear? Is this part clear? Yes. Yes. Then after that, the OH, this is SOCL2 or PCL5. PCL5. PCL3 plus 
हाँ <laughs> तो मैं ओके तीनों में से ना आप एक भी इक्वेशन याद रख लो ना वो मैं तो दिखा भी दूं एंड में शायद एक सेकंड इधर कहीं है हाँ ये तो ये पूरी इक्वेशन अगर याद याद करो तो बेहतर है वरना एक माह की इक्वेशन होगी इफ इट कम्स ठीक है नॉट वेरी ऑफन बट इट कैन कम वो एसो सीएल टू वाली तो आसान है वो सबसे आसान है Uh, वो उसमें कंफ्यूजन होती है पीसीएल थ्री एंड पीसीएल फाइव दैट्स कंफ्यूजिंग कि वो एक में इट्स फॉर्मिंग एस थ्री पीओ थ्री दर वन इट्स फॉर्मिंग पीओ सी एल थ्री एंड पीओ सी एल थ्री ना याद रखो कि पीसीएल फाइव प्लस फाइव है ना सो दैट्स पीओ सी एल थ्री इट्स आल्सो प्लस फाइव तो प्लस एट सी अच्छा इधर उसने ही मांगी अच्छा व्हाट्स दिस रिएक्शन स्टेप नंबर थ्री ये कौन सा रिएक्शन है Listen, molecule is probably reacting with itself. There's nothing to react with. So you've got an acyl chloride, and you've got a benzene. So the acylation, how do you? I say a lot of organic chemistry reactions would be like this. Okay, well, the molecule itself turns on itself and reacts with itself. So carbon over here is. So it will fall on itself. Hmm. Ah, uh, carbon over here is positive, right? तो ये जो कार्बन है ना इट गोज एंड रियक्ट विद द बेजीन तो द मॉलिक्यूल वुड लुक लाइक दिस इट्स बेंजीन ये कार्बन फिर ये कार्बन दो हो गए फिर तीसरा कार्बन है तीसरा फिर चौथा कार्बन है दैट्स ओवर हेयर और डबल बॉन्ड ओ जो है ना दैट गोज एंड अटैचेस टू बेंजीन डबल बॉन्ड ओवर पॉजिटिव कार्बन ही था दैट गोज एन अटैचेस टू बेंसिन इज दिस क्लियर यस सर और इसको देख भी लो इज दिस सी फाइव सी टेन कितने कार्बन है दैट्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स टेन कार्बन इज इस कर लो एक दो तीन चार पांच छह सात आठ नौ दस ठीक है तो ये मॉलिक्यूल है So write an equation for the formation of an electro electrophile from from this thing. So we yoga RCl yoga plus AlCl3. What does the catalyst do? Okay, it grabs the Cl. So it will become R plus one. That's going to be your electrophile, or AlCl4 minus one. Uh, w next to draw. Kali reagents be likely. Okay. Here, then we say that R plus one is so. शो करो तो वही आपने शो करना है कि आर प्लस वन टोक वे इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम द बेंजीन एंड वेंट एंड जॉइंट विद इट 
चलो अब ये तो खैर वो ये कौन कर लेते हैं थोड़ा सा इस पे क्या हो रहा है यू हैव टू गो फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू दर पॉइंट पहले सिस्टमैटिक नेम ऑफ जी वॉट इज दिस्टमैटिक नेम ऑफ जी वॉट इज इट वॉट इज इट कॉल्ड सर ये पहले ब्रोमो होगा फोर ब्रोमो टू नाइट्रो बेंजोइक एसिड ठीक है बेंजोइक एसिड में हायर प्रेसिडेंस ऑफ अल्फाबेटिकली दिस इज एट पोजीशन नंबर फोर दिस इज एट पोजीशन नंबर टू सो फोर ब्रोमो टू नाइट्रो बेंजोइक एसिड अच्छा बताओ कि ईएनएफ व्हाट इज ईएनएफ अब मुझे बताओ कि पहले डिड द मिथाइल टर्न इन टू अबॉक्सिक एसिड फर्स्ट और डिड इट हैपन लेटर ऑन क्या सर ये पहले बना होगा ना ऑब्वियसली नहीं अगर पहले बना होगा ना तो एवरीथिंग उसकी बात करूंगी नाइट्रो ब्रोमो की हाँ नाइट्रो ब्रोमो मस्ट हैपन फर्स्ट ठीक है सो ब्रोमिनेशन कर लेते हैं ब्रोमीन प्लस यू नीड एन एफ बी आर थ्री कार्टलिस्ट तो मीथेल ग्रुप इज टू फोर सिक्स तो ब्रोमीन प्रॉब्लम गॉड इट आस्ट ओवर हेयर देन यू आरेड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड नाइट्रिक एसिड एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड and the temperature was kept at uh, kitna 55 5260 to again 246 so that would mean ke you already had a methyl you had a bromine now you also have a no2 of a end mein now this methyl group can be oxidized that could be kmo4 acidified and reflux to phir isme turn ho jayega तो ये सारा तो हो गया खैर एक और हिस्सा खाया हुआ अब मुझे बताओ कि दिस इज योर मीथाइल ग्रुप दिस इज योर सी एस थ्री सर हाँ सर हमने जो पिछले वाले में काउंटिंग शुरू की थी वो हम हमेशा काबू से लेकर अच्छे से करेंगे हाँ क्योंकि वो हायर प्रेसिडेंस है ना प्रेसिडेंस ऑर्डर जो है ना थोड़ा बहुत पता होना चाहिए कॉपोस्टिक एसिड इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट ठीक है अच्छा ये मुझे बताओ कि इसमें अब इसमें मुझे बताओ कि डिड यू टर्न दिस मॉलिक्यूल इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड फर्स्ट और लेटर ऑन कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड फर्स्ट क्योंकि वो पोजीशन सी पे आया है ना सो दैट मींस के इट टर्न इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एंड देन इट यू डिड इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन सो सो यू मेड इट इनटू अ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप यू डिड nitration to no2 na yahan pe aake attach ho gaya theek hai uh to so concentrate nitric acid sulfuric acid temperature 55 uh how do you do reduction no2 to nh2 then last step 10 and concentrated hcl theek hai 10 plus concentrated टर्न इन टू एक और फिर वो एसओ सी एल टू प्लस हीट या पीसीएल थ्री प्लस हीट एक्सेट्रा तो दू एच गॉट सब्सिट्यूटेड बाई सी एल फिर यहां पर सिंग अ स्टूडेंट इन्वेस्टिगेट्स अ पॉसिबल सिंथिस ऑफ एम डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम बेनजीन यूजिंग सीओ सी एल टू डायरेक्टली बेनजीन से ना यू कैन फॉर्म एम 
तो पहले वो कहे सीओ सी एल टू रियक्ट एंड इट फॉर्म सो दिस इज योर इलेक्ट्रोफाइल आई थिंक तो इफ दैट्स योर इलेक्ट्रोफाइल सीरियल बॉन्ड ओ सी एल पॉजिटिव तो ऑब्वियसली इलेक्ट्रॉन आर गोइंग टू गेट अट्रैक्टेड टू इट और उससे पूरा मैकेजम लिखने को कहा है ठीक है लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ठीक है सो ये चीज कोई नहीं वो एलसीएल फोर माइनस वन के साथ दोबारा रिएक्ट कर जाएगा तो अच्छा लेकिन रिएक्शन टू इज एन इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन ऑफ बेंजीन अच्छा हमने सिर्फ एक ही बनाना था दो नहीं लगाने थे उसने दोनों साइडों पे लगाए हुए लेकिन इन रिएक्शन नंबर टू देयर इज ओनली वन ऑफ देम गेटिंग अटैच सो दैट्स फाइन ठीक है क्लियरली एग्जैक्ट सेम मैकेनिज्म एवरीथिंग इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम चलो ये फिर ना इसमें जो अगले वाले ना वो फिर कल करते हैं कौन से वाले हाँ क्वेश्चन बताओ तो मुझे सर वो आपको मैसेज किया हुआ है सर उसका आंसर दे दें प्लीज वो बताओ ना कौन सा था सर वो ऑर्गेनिक नहीं है सर वो उसका है इक्विलिब्रिया का नहीं वो ठीक है चलो बता दो कौन सा था एक सेकंड सर वो वो था अक्टूबर नवंबर 2022 क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 पार्ट एफ एक सेकंड मैं खोल रहा हूं नहीं सर ये आप कंप्लीट कराएंगे ना ऑर्गेनिक के ठीक है हाइड्रोलिसिस और एसिड बेसिस कल कर लेते हैं ठीक है तो फिजिकल के भी कराएंगे या नहीं हाँ वो भी ये कर लेंगे उसके बाद फिर वो कर लेंगे हाँ उसका सर फिजिकल के सवाल थोड़े कॉम्प्लेक्स होते हैं ना सर खास तौर पे मोल्स वगैरह के मोल्स तो बहुत कम आता है किधर आता है सर लेकिन जब आता है ना सर तो फिर बहुत मुश्किल होता है वो ऐसे एक से रुकना ही मैं इससे इसको बंद करूं अच्छा कौन सा दो हजार बाईस सर दो हजार बाईस अक्टूबर नवंबर फोर टू अच्छा अक्टूबर नवंबर फोर टू डब्ल्यू ट्वेंटी टू क्वेश्चन फोर है सर उसका आखिरी पार्ट लेकिन पूरा क्वेश्चन नहीं करा लिया सर वो थोड़ा सा मुश्किल था एक से मैं खोल रहा कौन सा क्वेश्चन था इससे अगला ये वाला सर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर था अच्छा ये हाँ सर ये तो वैल्यू ऑफ द सोलिब्रिटी प्रोडक्ट ठीक है सोलिब्रिटी प्रोडक्ट दिया हुआ एफ ई आई एन सी हाइड्रोक्साइड राइट कैलकुलेट द सोलिब्रिटी ऑफ एफ ई ओ एच थ्री तो वो पहले कैलकुलेट कर लो कि एफ ई ओ एच थ्री सॉलिड है एफ एट डिजोल्व इट्स क्या फॉर्म करेगा एफ ई थ्री प्लस आइन्स एक्वेस 
plus three OH minus one ions aqueous, right? So let's assume that the solubility is uh, x mole per dm cube. Okay, so x mole per dm cube dissolves. So if you have 3 plus, it will be x and this will be 3x. Is it clear? If you have 1 iron, it will be 3 OH ions, right? Now, KSP value pata. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to plug, plug this in. Okay, Fe ions will be x mole per dm cube and OH ion concentration will be 3x mole per dm cube. And this is equal to 2 times 10 power minus 39. To find out what x is, this will be what 27x4. 3 cube count 27. That's 2 times 10 power minus 39. Is the answer? Is that your answer? Are you well to easy the sir? You to as I care, it's not. Sir, what to basically calculate nine point two eight into ten to the minus eleven as a nine point two eight into ten to the minus eleven. Take care. I have calculated the solidity of uh, minus 11. Nahi tha. Ye minus 34. Tha, itna mujhe hai. Nahi, nahi sakta, this is the minus wrong answer, sir. Nahi, nahi, minus, 34. Answer hai. minus 34. Nahi ho sakta. Kedar... 4 ka... nahi, nahi, sir. Wo agle wale ka. Sorry, agle wale ka. Achha. Agle wale ka calculate the solidity of FAO OH3 in point 0.1. Achha, to ab issue ye ke the OHN concentration is already pehle se hi na, OHN concentration. Common ion effect. The OHN concentration is already 0 0.01 mole per dm cube. Right? So, if we do this again, same formula. So, up here, FE ions key concentration, okay, that's going to be x mole per dm cube. The OHN concentration, because of the common ion effect, because you have barium hydroxide beach on the so the OHN concentration is already very high. It's 0 0.01 mole per dm cube. Okay. So now the same expression hai na, that's going to be x times uh, OHN kitna hai? 0 0.01 cubed equals 2 times 10 power minus 39. Is this clear? Okay, when common ion effect is na, to Solution mein jo OH hai na, they're not really coming from FeOH3. They're already there. So, aap usko 3x... Sir, answer is wrong. Sir, answer is wrong. What's going on? Sir, this is 0 0.01 and 0 0.02. In the marking scheme, so this is what I'm saying. What is this? 0.02? Yes, it's 0.02. Yes, it's 0.02. Yes, it's 0.02. Yes, it's 0.02. Okay. Sir, because this solubility is 0.01, but when it will dissociate, it will become OH2. It will become OH2. It will become OH2. It will become OH2. ये यूसेंग ट्रिक बीच में खेली भी थी ठीक है क्लियर है ये आंसर आ गया क्या आ रहा है सर वे निगलेटिंग जो के ओएच एफईओएच थ्री से प्रोड्यूस हो रहा था उसे हाँ उसको हम निगलेट इसलिए कर रहे हैं कि इधर एक्स की वैल्यू देखो ना पहले पहले वाले में देखो व्हाट इस द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इट्स वेरी स्मॉल र was 9.28 into transfer minus 11 mole per dm cube, right? So that was almost negligible, right? So I guess solution with Pellis, if there's already 0 0.01 mole per dm cube. So even if there's some small quantity of OHNs coming from FeOH3, that will be negligible, almost non-existent. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. So exact value that will be 0.01. I mean, if you want to, if you want to like do more math, okay? So there's already 0 0.01 mole per dm cube in the solution. Plus there is 3x mole per dm cube that will be produced from the FeOH3. Now it's 
लेकिन वो थ्री एक्स पॉइंटलेस है क्योंकि थ्री एक्स इज वेरी स्मॉल सो यू कैन काइंड ऑफ इग्नोर इट उसके साथ भी सॉल्व कर सकते हो लेकिन दैट विल बिकम अ क्वेश्चन इज जस्ट टू टेक अ लॉन्गर टाइम फॉर यू टू सॉल्व दैट ठीक है तो नेम दिस इफेक्ट दैट्स द कॉमन इफेक्ट इसमें क्या मस, क्या था मसला कहां पर सोल्यूशन एक्स तो सोल्यूशन एक्स क्या चीज है एक्स इज एच पी आर ओ विच कंटेन्स एक्स इज सोल्यूशन ऑफ एच पी आर ओ विच कंटेन्स फोर इन टू ट्रेंसफर माइनस थ्री मोड ऑफ एच पी आर ओ एन हंड्रेड सीम की सोल्यूशन इन दिस सोल्यूशन फॉलोइंग अच्छा सो इट्स इट्स अ वीक एसिड राइट वॉट इज इट इट्स एच पी आर ओ जब एच पी आर ओ होगा इट्स अ वीक एसिड सो इट्स गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस एच प्लस वन एंड बी आर ओ माइनस वन ठीक है वो उसने दिया हुआ नीचे ठीक है So your K expression will be what? It's going to be a plus one squared divided by what? HBRO. Well, the acid concentration. H H plus one concentration squared divided by the acid concentration. These two ends equal quantity will produce. So you've got your K. K is already given. That's uh, so. I'm just going to solve this. K is already given. That's two times ten power minus nine. Acha H plus one squared is not known. और एच पी आर ओ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज गिवन कितनी है कॉन्सेंट्रेशन दैट्स फोर टाइम्स टेन पॉइंट माइनस थ्री मोल्स इन कितने डीएम क्यूब इन पॉइंट वन डीएम क्यूब राइट तो ये बताओ क्या आ रहा है सर ये इसकी जो पी एच है ना फाइव पॉइंट जीरो फाइव है फाइनल आंसर यही है ना एक्सप्रेशन हाँ लेकिन पीएच इसका आंसर 5.05 आएगा ठीक है ये कोई कंफर्म कर ले ठीक है तो यू गॉट तो वीक एसिड ठीक है दिस इज वॉट योर पीएच इज फाइव पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाउ अब बफर बन रहे सोल्यूशन ऑफ एनओ एच इज एडेड टू सोल्यूशन ऑफ एक्स अ बफर इज फॉर्म ठीक है हाउ इज अ बफर फॉर्म क्योंकि एच बी आर ओ जो है ना विल रियक्ट विद दी एनओ एच So what will it form? The H plus one and the OH ions will react together to form water. They'll get neutralized. And PC get added. That's going to be NaBrO. Well, BrO minus one, Na plus one. As I said, there's a, there's neutralization happening. How much energy is there? That's two times ten to the power minus three. Minus three moles. अच्छा उसमें एच पी आर ओ पहले कितना था इन योर सोल्यूशन दैट वॉज फोर टाइम्स टेन टू द पावर माइनस थ्री मोल्स तो कौन सी चीज एक्सेस पे है इट्स एनी ओच इट्स द लिमिटिंग रिएजेंट एनी ओच इज गोइंग टू कंप्लीटली रिएक्ट Two times ten power minus three moles of HBrO would still be left in the reaction, right? Is that clear? Or आगे जाके salt कितनी produce होगी? That's going to be two times ten power minus three moles. ठीक है, clear है? Hmm. Yes, sir. तो अब आपके end में solution में क्या है? It's it's the salt and the मतलब conjugate base and the weak acid. तो बफर बन गया ना यानी उसकी कॉन्जुकेट बेस तो अब आपका जो एक्सप्रेशन है ना योर एक्सप्रेशन वाज़ फॉर के वाज व्हाट इट वाज एच प्लस वन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इनटू टू बी आर ओ माइनस वन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन डिवाइडेड बाय एच बी आर ओ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अच्छा बी आर ओ माइनस वन Or H B R O concentration is exactly the same, so they'll get cancelled out. So basically, your K is equal to your H plus one concentration. 
और के गिवन है के कितना था के सर इसका आंसर 8.07 है के कितना है 2 टाइम्स 10 पर माइनस 9 8.70 तो वो देख लो इसका इसका माइनस लॉग लो क्या आ रहा है व्हाट इज इट 8.70 ठीक है लेकिन क्लियर है कि रिएक्शन के बाद इट एंडेड अप फॉर्मिंग अ इट एंडेड अप फॉर्मिंग अ बफर ठीक है तो वो वीक एसिड और सारा दे एंडेड अप फॉर्मिंग अ बफर तो इज दिस पार्ट क्लियर यस सर चलो ठीक है ये आ, कल का न्यू करते हैं सर हाँ जी सर अक्टूबर नवंबर 2021 के कुछ पार्ट्स हैं उसे क्वेश्चंस हैं जी सर ये कल कर लेते कल पहले पहले उसपे ना स्टार्ट में उसको पहले टैकल कर लेते हैं ठीक है चलो ओके अलाव से अलाव से सर इसका एयर कौन सा था ये वाला तो आपने अभी सॉल्व किया ये तो विंटर 22 क्वेश्चन पेपर 4 टू है अक्टूबर नवंबर 22 क्वेश्चन पेपर 4 टू चलो ठीक है ओके अलाव से